Just a final note, conclusion to our discussion of content online. So you guys have grown up with this. I saw this come about, but the internet has made all sorts of things available to us. Some of those things are things that we shouldn't be able to get our hands on. Some of those things can be damaging to us. Um, but some of those things may have encouraged us uh, to uh, hold a belief that is definitely not true. And so I just want to push back against that by reminding you of something very, very simple, which is that good stuff isn't free. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to throw you in jail for downloading a song, a copy of a song that you like and dancing around the room to it and, and finding that really cool. Um, but remember, the person who wrote that song needs to eat. They need to be able to pay their rent. Um, they want to be able to you know, purchase content and do other things. So regardless of how you do it, and the internet provides you with lots of different opportunities, you want to be able to come into a position where you feel like you have a good relationship with the things that you care about. Um, you know, you may not have had this experience yet, but you know, there's there's been times when I've sort of seen a restaurant and I kind of feel like this restaurant's good for the neighborhood, right? It's a it's a good place, it's a good place to have around. And then after maybe a year of walking by it, I see that it's closed, and I think, oh, that's too bad. And then it sort of dawns on me, I never ate there. You know, I thought the place was good for the neighborhood, uh, but I never actually went and put my money where my mouth was. So I would encourage you just keep this in mind. If you like an artist, if you like uh, some sort of content creator, if you like a particular podcast, if you like a particular uh, music radio station or something like that, make sure that you are finding some way to show your support financially. Because if you don't do that, that stuff is not going to be around forever. And you may get by for a long period of time because other people may be supporting it, uh, but at some point your collective, your sort of individual inaction is going to be, become representative of some collective inaction. And that thing that you like, um, whether it's an author or a band or uh, an actor or something like that, that thing is not going to exist anymore. And look, you may not like the middlemen, you may not like the distribution models, you may not like some of the requirements of the, the you know, the ways that things work. So don't, don't feel bound by them, you know? Go to a concert rather than buying an album, you know? Um, find ways around the existing system if you don't like it. Find ways to sort of make contributions directly to things that you care about if you're worried uh, about the system. Uh, because that is certainly more possible today than it ever has been before. But if you want good things in the world, if you want to be continue to be inspired by stuff that's created by other people, you have to support the people that are doing that. Otherwise, there will not be any of them left anymore.